The magic formula gives you 24% return per year from 1988 to 2009. During the same time, the S&P 500 only gives you 9.55% return. Now, to put that into perspective, you invest $10,000 using the magic formula. You will turn your $10,000 into 1 million within 20 years. If you invest $10,000 in the S&P 500 during those 20 year period, you will only turn your $10,000 into 75,000. Hi, my name is Kyle, your average investor. And today we're gonna take a look at the magic formula and how I am plan to use it in my portfolio. The magic formula was first introduced in 1980 in the book, The Little Book That Beat the Market, and was once again introduced in 2010 in the book, The Little Book That Still Beat the Market by Joe Greenblatt. In the book, The Little Book That Still Beat the Market, Joe Greenblatt showed the performance of the magic formula from 1988 to 2004. The market return for the magic formula is 33% per year. During the same time, the S&P 500 only give you the average of 14% per year. Now, what really surprised me during those 16 year period, the magic formula only had one negative year, which is in 2002 with negative 4% return, where the market have five negative return. And the largest return of the market, which is in 2002, is 24.2%. Compare that to the magic formula, which is only negative 4%. During the years, the market average have minor negative, which is in 1994 and 1998. The magic formula during those years actually performed very well, give you 22 and 25% return. And out of those 16 years, the S&P 500 only able to beat it one time, which is in 1995 by 3.6%. And the average market in general was not even able to beat it one time. Another study showed that from 1999, which is pretty close to the top of the dot-com bubbles, 2009, which is pretty much the bottom of the housing bubble, the magic formula still able to give you the average annual return of 13.7%. Another study found that between 1993, 2005, the strategy outperformed the US index by 3.6%. The UK index by 7.3%, the Japan index by 10.8%. For example, if the UK index give you 9% return, using the magic formula in UK would give you 16.3%. And I was able to found many other articles that showed the magic formula was able to work outside of the US stock market. With this great return, beating the market, beating most head fund manager, you expect this formula must be some crazy formula. Actually, this formula is very simple. You only take a look at two fundamental metrics. The first being return on investment capital, which is the ratio used to measure the profitability and value creating potential of the companies relative to the amount of the capital invested by shareholders and debt holders. In another word, return on investment capital measure how efficiently they generate earning from the asset. To calculate return on capital, you take EBIT, which is earning before interest and tax divided by net fixed asset plus working capital. The second fundamental metric used in the magic formula is the earning yield, which calculate by EBIT divided by EV. EBIT again is earning before interest and tax. EV is enterprise value, which is also is the share price. So the earning yield is kind of similar to the PE ratio, but in inverse. So it does tell you how relatively cheap the companies compare it to the price and earning. So using those two fundamental metrics, we're gonna learn how to use them in our magic formula. First, we're gonna set the minimum market cap of the company to be greater than 100 million. Second, we can exclude all the financial and utility companies. Third, we can exclude all the foreign companies or American Depository Receipt, which is ADRs. Four, we're gonna determine the company's earning yield, which I did show you how to calculate earlier. Fifth, we're gonna calculate our return on capital. Six, we're gonna rank the selected company by highest earning yields and highest return on capital. Seven, we're gonna buy two to three company each month in the top 20 or 30 companies over the course of the year. So the reason to invest every month instead of invest all your money at one time is to avoid the market correction. All of a sudden you invest and the market take a correction. Eight, each year rebalance a portfolio by selling off the loser 
one week before the year term end, sell off the winner one week after the year mark. That means you can file your loss in short term loss tax and you can file your gain in long term since you did hold the stock more than a year. And the last step is repeat the process each year for the minimum of five to 10 years or more. Now I know you're probably thinking, shit, Kyle, you expect me to calculate those metrics for a 6,000 company and rank them? Don't worry, I'm not expect that much from you or me. Luckily, Joe Greenblatt saved a lazy butt and create a website that screened the market and ranked them for us. So first, you gotta go to magicformulainvesting.com. From there, Joe Greenblatt provide us a screener, but this only had two metrics that we can control, which is the market cap and the number of stock that you wanna display. Now for the market cap, the magic formula suggests to be greater than 50 or 100 millions. The number of stock we can pick is only two options, which is 30 and 50. And there's a study that I bumped to show that the number of stock to be 30 is outperform the number of stock of 50. So for that, we're gonna go with 30. After that, I show you all the top 30 companies rank using the return on capitals and the earning yields. From then, we can pick out top two to three stock and put on portfolio. And we're gonna do that and keep adding on two to three stock every month. And we can hold on to those stock for one year before we sell them. And one thing I forgot to mention, you gotta invest in those stock weighted equally. That means if you have $30,000 and you plan to invest in 30 companies, that means each time you buy those three stock, you only can invest $1,000 in each stock. So now we can take a look at the altar of the magic formula and his hedge fund performance. Right off the back, you gotta give a thumb up to this guy. Since his hedge fund name, Gotham Asset Management LLC. When I type in what is the average return for Joe Greenblatt, Google actually showed me 40%. Now this is for annualized return for over more than two decades. But recently, since 2012, even though Joe Greenblatt able to beat other head fund manager by a great margin of 24%, he still underperformed the S&P 500 by 63.5%. But it's understandable, since the two fundamental metrics that he used in the magic formula is basically another version of value investing. And we all know value investing been underperformed the market as a whole. Even Warren Buffett, the god of value investing, still underperformed the market in the last decade. And that is very understandable, since the last decade, the market been in the bull run. And during the bull run, the market tend to favor growth stock over valued investing. Some people even question, is value investing dead? But in my opinion, investing strategy is very cyclical like the market itself. Sometimes it may perform well during certain market, but in other time it probably underperform during another market condition. So I honestly think this is probably a good time for me to try this method out in one of my portfolio. Using a magic formula stock screener, I add on four position into my portfolio. Each position worth $1,000. The four position are ALSN, AMCX, EAF, HRB. Now I understand that I spoke to only at two to three, but all four of this stock look very attractive to me at this valuation. So yes, I did add four this time, but I'm gonna go back to add two or three every single month going forward. But bad luck, Kyle. I bought it like a day right before the coronavirus kicked in. So yes, all of this stock are down currently right now. So going forward, I'm gonna update you guys on what stock I'm gonna add onto this portfolio each month and how the portfolio performing overall month after month. The update of this portfolio going forward gonna be on my investing experiment portfolio video. Now, if you're new to the channel, on the investing experiment video, I'm gonna give you guys an update on all the portfolio that I'm currently experimenting with. Including this one, there's currently six portfolio. So make sure you click the subscribe button and click on your notification bell so you can keep track of all the portfolio I'm currently holding. And I will give you guys an update on every single month. So that is all the information I have for you guys this video. Let's get to our 20 Amazon dollar giveaway. Now I do this giveaway in every single video. All you need to do is comment below and this time we can pick out the winner from the comment back to the original way. Send one of the, of the subscriber requested that way. So yes, we can pick out from the comment below. So if you're a new subscriber, make sure you comment below to enter to this kind of giveaway because I do this giveaway in every single video. So make sure you comment below and, and click the like button. That would help out a lot. Thank you. So this time we only had 26 unique comments. So the chance of you winning is pretty high. So make sure you comment in the next video. Okay, let's click start and see who our, who our lucky winner is.
And the lucky winner is the Wong Mai set. He actually the last comments in uh, before I start this contest. So congratulations, the Wong Mai set. Make sure you comment below in this video right here before I make another video to claim the prize and you know that you win. Because again, I do want to give it back to the one who actually watched my video. And congratulations, the Wong Mindset. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you guys for watching until the end. If you can help me out and click the like button, click the subscribe button, and comment below. Again, my name is Kyle, the average investor, and you guys have a blessed day.